गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव कवर्ड वन एग्जांपल नाउ इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल कवर टू एग्जांपल सो द थर्ड एग्जांपल इज फर्स्ट वी विल रीड द एग्जांपल एन ऑयल ऑफ विस्कोसिटी 0.1 न्यूटन सेकंड पर मीटर स्क्वायर एंड रिलेटिव डेंसिटी ऑफ 0.9 इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू ए सर्कुलर पाइप ऑफ डायमीटर 50 एमएम एंड ऑफ लेंथ 300 एमएम 300 मीटर सो द गिवन डेटा इज विस्कोसिटी ऑफ ऑयल 0.1 न्यूटन सेकंड पर मीटर स्क्वायर सो फर्स्ट नोट डाउन विस्कोसिटी ऑफ ऑयल इज इक्वल टू 0.1 न्यूटन सेकंड पर मीटर स्क्वायर देन द रिलेटिव डेंसिटी मींस स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इज 0.9 इज इट इज गिवन सो स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इज इक्वल टू 0.9 सो डेंसिटी विल बिकम 0.9 इनटू 1000 सो डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू 900 देन नेक्स्ट इज द सर्कुलर पाइप ऑफ डायमीटर 50 एमएम so diameter is given as 50 m so it will become d is equal to 0.05 meter then the length is 300 meter so length given data will become length is equal to 300 meter and the rate of flow of fluid through pipe is 3.5 liters per second it is given so q will become 3.5 liters per second so in meter cube per second it will become 3.5 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter cube per second okay then find out the pressure drop in a length of 300 meter and also the shear stress at the pipe wall so first thing is to find out the pressure drop and second thing pressure drop over length 300 meter and second is shear stress at pipe wall pipe wall means this small radius will become capital R because this is the pipe section and from this he will measure the radius so at the pipe wall means this small r will become capital R so shear stress at pipe wall means at small r is equal to capital R so now first thing is to find out the pressure drop okay so pressure drop so pressure drop formula is given by pressure drop is given by the formula p1 minus p2 is equal to 32 into nu into u average into l divided by d square look see the difference if the pressure head hf is given then this will become rho g d square but here only we need to find out the pressure difference so this will be neglected so only d square will be the denominator so for this dynamic viscosity is known length is also given diameter is also given so here we need to find out only the average velocity okay now average velocity for this the discharge q is given discharge q is equal to it is given as this q is given as 3.5 liters per second means 3.5 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter cube per second discharge is given so from this discharge you will get nu as because we know that q is equal to u average into area so u will become q divided by area so this will become q is nothing but 3.5 into 10 raised to power minus 3 divided by area pi by 4 into d d is 50 point zero five square so this u average will be calculated as by putting all these values you will get u average as 1.783 meter per second okay now so from this by putting the value of u into this formula you will get the pressure difference p1 minus p2 which is equal to 32 into 1.783 into this viscosity is 0 0.1 into length is 300 divided by 0 0.05 square so this p1 minus p2 by calculation this is equal to 684.67 into 10 raised to power minus 3 pascals per meter okay next second one is shear stress shear st 
stress. So by formula we know that the shear stress tau is given as minus dou p by dou x into r by now this p1 minus p2 it is nothing but minus dou p by dou x because the pressure difference over length x so pressure difference over length l is equal to 300 meter is given or by we have calculated as 684.67 into to power minus 3 so here this r y r because at pipe wall r will become capital r so this will become 684 into 67 into 10 raised to power 684.67 into 10 raised to power minus 3 into r r is nothing but 0 0.025 divided by 2 and this will become 8258.375 newton per meter square okay this is the first example of this length now next we will see another example okay now see the another example so first we will read a, two, a 0.2 meter diameter means here diameter is given as 0.2 pipe carrying liquid in a laminar regime means the given regime is laminar a pitot tube placed in the flow at radial distance of 15 mm radial distance of means small r is given as 0.15 mm from the axis of the pipe indicates velocity of 0.5 meters per second where velocity means a pitot tube is put between this section and this will indicate the 0.5 meters per second of velocity and this will be put at distance r is equal to radial distance of 0.15 meters per point means at 15 mm distance from the axis of the pipe actually it is rooted means this is the axis of the point and this is the distance between the axis of pipe and the pitot tube so r is given as 15 mm and velocity is given as 0.5 meters per second then find out the maximum velocity mean velocity and the discharge in the pipe. so this is the given data now as we know that the velocity formula of velocity in terms of pressure difference is given as 1 by 4 nu into minus dou p by dou x into capital R square minus small r square now this velocity it is given equal to 0 0.5 at radius of 0 0.15 meter so this will become 1 by 4 nu minus dou p by dou x now r means this 0 0.1 0 0.1 square minus smaller means 0 0.015 0 0.015 square so <coughs> the parameter 1 by 4 nu into dou p by dou x will become so 1 by 4 nu into minus dou p by dou x it will become equal to 51.50 now this parameter is known now the maximum velocity u max is given by formula equal to 1 by 4 nu minus dou p by dou x into capital r square now this parameter is known and it is equal to 51.15 and now r is 0 0.1 square so u max will become 0 0.512 next u average u average or u bar is it it is equal to u max divided by 2 because u max divided by u average is equal to 2 the ratio between max to average velocity is equal to 2 so average velocity will become u max by 2 which is nothing but 0 0.256 okay and then finally discharge q discharge q is u average into area of the pipe so u average actually we have calculated it is equal to 0 0.256 into area pi by 4 into d d is 0 0.2 meter square so this discharge will become 8.035 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter square which is nothing but 8.035 liters per second so this is the so in this way we have studied two numericals 
in this lecture. Thank you.